game uh, that came out. Oh, oh, probably two years ago showed now? up. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, all the no. beardies showed up there for a second. All the beardies showed up. Uh, that's okay. We uh, also got uh, Corgi Butts, which is exciting in chat. Always like Corgi Butts. Um, but Chai, which is, um, which is kind of like a standout hit uh, over the last year or so, uh, already has an expansion uh, that they ran through Kickstarter as well. Uh, but they currently have uh, their Kickstarter for Chai T for Two, uh, which if you use exclamation point Chai and not Chia, uh, because that is something different. Chia will get you uh, a link to ch- ch- a, uh, a phone number that gets you uh, a head of a, what is it, a porcupine? Can be a porcupine. Uh, they did uh, Golden Girl Chia Pets. They did do the ago. Golden Girl Chia Pets. Uh, so there's that. Chia. Uh, and if we get a uh, DMCA for the Chia theme song, uh, Monique says, "I want to chai this game out." Yeah. Uh, anytime you, Monique, anytime you want to chai this game, uh, I'll be happy to play with you. It is, but fun game. Uh, it is on Kickstarter currently, uh, and uh, they have uh, some lovely add-ons as well, which are. The- <laughs> dice trays that they, yeah they looked nice fantastic uh there are i think a bunch of brand new dice tray colors uh that they just announced uh which look incredible uh i will be getting the like cappuccino coffee one uh ec thank you for the bits thank, thank you for the hundred so bits ec i didn't um, say anything oh it's a just because i know but it, it bitney why is Bitty Bit- slacking? Bitty said just because on my side. You're you're slacking, TJ. Did, okay, chat. Did you hear sh- Bitty? I showed up two minutes before stream, and my Bitty works. <laughs> Mine worked. N- no. Do you not have Bitty fixed on your screen? I'm going to do a thing that I'm not prepared for. So Didn't hear it. Yeah, he didn't hear it either. I heard it. I'm trying I'm trying something. Just because signed eclectic camel. Your desktop okay. audio turned down? Did it come through there? That time chat? There we go. It did. Okay. So then let's let's give Perfect. The- Let's go ahead and give Cam EC his. Thank you, EC, for the bits. All right. Hey, uh, it's Steve, Steve Games. Steve Games, thank you for the follow. You know that's right. Thank welcome, you so much. Welcome, for welcome. Home. Yeah, apparently uh, it, it does not want to play uh, EC's thing. Great news, Steve Games. You came at the, <laughs> the exact right time. <laughs> Uh, we've had a we've had a fantastic uh, thirty minute pre stream chat uh, or pre game chat pre game chat. It's been great. A lot of stuff. So I'm glad that you came in right now, where uh, you had to miss all of that. But we were just talking about the Kickstarter uh, and talking about those uh, sweet dice trays uh, that are uh, part. I say part of the Kickstarter. They are an add on. Add on. Uh, yeah, but they, they look good though. Delightful. Uh, oh, you see, no. fine. I just wanted to share some stream love. If you know what I mean. Thank you. You see. Yes. Thank you, EC. We we really appreciate the love. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, what do you say we uh want to get into it? Uh, let's get. In. You timed it so you'd be starting when they arrived. Uh, we did. Uh, having dinner here, so going back and forth, we'll try to answer any questions that might pop up. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, we uh both had a lot of discussions today about uh getting prepared for the stream, and we watched a bunch of other streamers. Uh. If you go to the uh, Chai T for Two Kickstarter, which is in chat, and we'll drop it a couple times throughout the stream, uh, there are uh, a lot of different streamers who have either played it or previewed it. Um, so you can yeah, for sure. see a lot of people who you may like. You may see some new people you've never seen before, um, which is awesome that Steeped has uh, included a lot of people in the Kickstarter 
um, so that they have both shared the love of this wonderful game, but also um, let you see some uh, faces you may not have seen before. So, yeah, uh, absolutely. We appreciate them putting us on the schedule on the website, yeah, on, absolutely. The, uh, on the Kickstarter. Um, yeah, but let's get into it. What do you say, Richmond? I am ready uh, okay. to grow my tea and ship it off to college. Ship it off to college and let it uh, let it flourish on its own. We are going to let it flourish on its own. All right. So in chai tea for two, you are harvesting tea and letting it age and letting it go and oxidize and things of that nature. And then you're going to ship it off and sell it. In the way you're going to be doing that is by using your workers, which are represented in, in this game by dice. This is going to be a dice placement game where we're going to roll our dice at the beginning of our turns, and then we're going to go around the board and place a die or multiple dice, based, depending on where we go, which will let us get more tea or get more movements of like aging our tea or get abilities that help our tea grow faster and then ships to send them off onto. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look around the board. We are gonna go ahead and shuffle these up. Go and shuffle these guys on up. Shuffle, shuffle, perfect. Probably flip them over for the first for the first thing here. If you wanna go ahead and set those all around Richmond for me. So let's make sure we get the setup all ready to go. We need to figure out who is going to go first here, Richmond. Would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? Oh, I can't hear you, Richmond. Uh, oh. I apologize. I was moving my uh, microphone, and I did not want to stress people out. Oh. Um, so I will go first. Sure. Okay. So this one will be flipped over, honestly, actually. Uh, it will. Oh, great. Yeah. Let's do that. It's fine. Yep. All right. So I'll, uh, I'll go over a quick overview of the board and what's going to happen. Sure. So... The first player marker uh, is going to go to Richmond, which there might not be one on here. There is. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, I thought I did. Maybe I don't. No, it's way down I here. Do not... Got it. Oh, got it. Got uh, it. And this thing is like a nice metal, like solid coin. By the yeah, way. it looked like it almost looks like the challenge coins that you you see around. Yeah. It's like it looks really big and hefty, which is which is really cool. Um. But yeah, so what's going to happen is Richmond's got the first player marker, <laughs> and the first thing that's going to happen is digital uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, I Because I'm the first player, I'm going to go ahead and sell my Bitcoin <laughs> um, and see you all later. Checks out. I, I'm going to sell my Bitcoin and uh, invest in uh, Dogecoin. It's fine. Dogecoin, yeah. Uh, to the moon. So Richmond is going to take... The first step of the game, and that's an easy one to demonstrate. So what he will do first is the first player at the start of each round is going to take our little worker meeple over here, and he's going to move it one, two, or three spots. One, two, or three. It's either two or three. Uh, yeah, it's one, one two, two, three harvest markers. So you, he's going to move it there, and he's going to choose one of those. That is going to show what type of tea we're going to get. So in this one, we're going to get a green tea and a white tea. And then the number is how many either extra tea we would like to get or how many movements we would like our, our, our teas to move up on our boards. And I'll get into the movement of the tea in a little bit. But just know that the numbers that we're going to get from choosing a harvest is going to give us so many and we can either move up or gain tea from the supply. The only caveat to that is the tea taken from the supply can't be the same. So we can get two blue tea. We can't get two blue teas, but we can get a blue and a green tea from it. So that's the first thing that's going to happen. Then the next thing that's going to happen is we're just going to simultaneously, we're going to all roll our dice and I'm going to do just a little, uh, demonstration roll here so we'll roll yeah. these there we go so i got them dice then what's going to happen is we're going to go back and forth starting with the the first player and we're going to place dice all around the board and i'll 
to start over here. On the left side over here, this, this spot, as many dice as we want can go there on um, back and forth between us. All the other ones are gonna either be blocked or like a small majority control area. This one just, we put a dice there and we get a T. That's and as simple as it is. Any, any one we want out of the six options. Yes. Coming around this board here, these are the market. I believe they're called market boards. Yep. So this is the market and you need to place a die that is greater than or equal to the number that is showing on the corresponding location. So the five could go here and everywhere before it. And once you do that, you will take one of these cards that is going to somehow modify or give you in-game scoring on your board. Um, this T right here, this blooming T, is a good example of one that is just gonna be a set collection bonus. So the first one you have of that type is gonna be worth one point, the next two is gonna be worth three, three is gonna be worth six, so on and so forth. So that one's a set collection. And where these go is, if you look on your board, there are slots. So there's three across the bottom here, one on each side, and then one, two, three, four, five, six six going up the board and you can place those there and those are going to have areas where the T are going to move up to age through but we'll look at one of these T here oh, sure. probably shouldn't take that one that's fine so Either way. what these ones will do so this is an Earl White what this does is this acts as a way to move it along faster. So as the T is moving, it's they're gonna follow the paths that are the colors in front of them. So if I ever get a movement, like we talked about at the beginning when we got our harvest token, the number four, that is one of the movements we can take. So we would move it one. If this card is here, because it corresponds with the color on the card, it can move an additional one along its path. The you're reason building, why you're, you're building a, a little bit of an engine. A little bit of an engine, yeah. So as it moves along, once it gets all the way to the top, that's where you're gonna want this T to go is because once you go over here to this location, and this one is where boats are, soon you will gain boats by going to this location. Well, I can get a card out. It will go up here. And you can see that they are worth victory points if you fulfill those, those contracts to those ships. And the way you go to these locations is by doing runs of numbers. So one, two, so you can do a one and a two or a one, two, and a three. So if we can grab a Richmond's real quick, he has, we'll just put, say he wanted to bid on this one. He did a five and a six. I could come back and do a longer run or a higher number. Um, but unfortunately, this does not have a higher run that I could do because the numbers don't go higher than six. So this is a little area control, um, dice control spot. Uh, but you could, do a, you could do a run of three. Yes, you could do a run of three, yes. I just can't beat you numerically. Correct by doing a two. Right, 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 right. So, and those are gonna be claimed at the end of the round once everybody runs out of their dice. The one over here is similar. This is gonna also be done at the end of the round. This one though, you have to place matching numbers on it. So, uh, by the way, um, Steve Game says that sixes and ones do wrap. Yes, yeah, six and ones do wrap. Um, I will note that you can always change a die hip by adding or taking down one by spending a single T to modify that die from your board. Yep. From your board. So the, these ones become are done by matches, um, pairs or triples or quadruples. And this one is going to just be jockeying for whoever has the longest run and then comparing numbers on those as well. 
And at the end of the round, what they will do is give you movements along your T board, like I showed previously, moving them yeah. up closer to being shipped out. The last two places are, or the last two areas to do are, you put a, just put a dice here, you'll get the first player marker. This right here, some of the actions and cards that you will get once you use them will be flipped over and you can't use them again until you go to this location here and flip them back over. And those and, are going to be more powerful cards that you bring over to your uh, plantation board. Correct. And last but not least, there are these locations right here. This one here lets you move one of your market cards around your board to an empty space. And this one here allows you to swap two market boards or market cards around on your board. So we will we'll go around placing dice on this board until we reach the amount of ships that we've agreed upon based on how long we want the game to play. You can play three, four, or five ships being sent out. Hey, Fairnix. Welcome in, buddy. Hey, Fairnix. So you're going to ship out three, four, or five ships, and that's how you determine how long the game is going to go. Once somebody has completed that many ships, that round, once that round is over, it is the final round. Um, and I believe that is going to be it. That's the... Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, once we choose our, uh, once we do our movement phase at the beginning, um, so it's going to be our uh, moving the assistant, uh, we're going to flip those over, move that to the opposite side of the board. Um, we're kind of like building all, our own little rondelle. More or less, yeah. Uh, and then the only other thing I was going to say uh, is. Uh, when you bring those ships over um, on any plantation board, uh, once you cross this top line of the plantation board, uh, there is going to, and it's a little hard to see, and Tabletopia is very bright. It is very uh, bright. At, at times, uh, but there is, uh, where all these icons are, uh, there is a line of, uh, we'll call it a line of demarcation. Uh, but once you get your, uh, your um, tea leaves uh, or your tea beyond this line that you can kind of see here, uh, they will automatically, if you have ships, they will automatically go onto ships that allow that type. If yes. you ever, um, the problem is, is that if there's an available space for that tea, it has to go on that ship. Can't wait. It can't wait. So uh, you may send a ship when you are not necessarily prepared to send a ship. Uh, if a ship is not full, you can freely move them between ships. Uh, there are ships that have question marks that will take any type of tea. Um, but once there are four of any type of tea, that ship will go. Uh, unless you have another ship that you can move it beyond. Uh, yes. So it's going to be important to make sure that uh, you are sending things that you want to send. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Uh, we have, um, you can see on each of our uh, little boxes here, uh, we have uh, little characters that we have pre-selected as our uh, players. Uh, so mine is going to be right here because I can never remember uh, what corner uh, things are. Mine is the uh, gentleman who looks a little bit like Colonel Sanders and a uh fisher price little people uh at the same time yes and steve does right. make a steve games does make a good point it doesn't have to be the same color it's just essentially any t correct so any t on those wild ships uh can be sent i believe they're uh, called i believe they're called junk ships i think is they are it? called junk ships i think that's what they were called. um so you if you take a junk ship you need to make sure that that's something you want to send. uh otherwise uh, there are. This is exciting. I mean, Stenzor, thank you for thank you for the raid, friend. Uh, we're just getting ready to play uh, Chai Tea for two. Uh, I know that you were playing uh, Zelda: The Wind. No, wait, oh, Skyward uh, Sword. Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. 
Uh, and there's a great clip of you uh, throwing a thing off a cliff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> him him going murder, 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 and then throws him off a, sh- off a cliff. Correct. Um, we, we love Stenzor. <laughs> we do love Stenzor. There is a another type of card which uh, will pop up eventually, uh, which is called a crate. Um, if you have these crates on one of your uh, on one of your slots on your board, uh, and a T of that type uh, ends up in the adjacent space, it automatically goes into the crate, um, and then the crates will be worth. Uh, points at the end of the game uh, if they it's are filled. Uh oh, what has happened? The secret part. Tanya, thank you so much for the resubscription. Yeah, Three months you. long beard. <laughs> Getting there, Tanya. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you so much, Tanya. Thank you for uh, thank you for being here. Thanks for the subscription. Yes. Uh, good to see you. Also, hi, slivers. slivers. Spracknell here, caring for me now, though. Yes. Uh, wait, what happened to Slivers? Slivers, Slivers oh, had like pain. Why are you in pain, Slivers? He had a cracked tooth, I believe. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the longest beard Tanya's ever grown. <laughs> I just I just trimmed mine, so um, we're good. Slivers, right. I hope I hope it feels better, friend. I do. Yeah. I really do. Uh, teeth uh teeth pain. Teeth pain, tooth pain. Uh, it's never fun. It's never fun. Not at all. Um, uh let's let's do this thing I, let's get into I feel it like we, we've done an hour-long intro uh so we this this is uh, stream will get many cuts it will get a full cut uh a rules explanation cut as well as a just a gameplay cut um but this has been fun it's been a good night already um uh, and i'm slowly coming off of my ice cream cake high that i will shatter so didn't keep oh my gosh livers Whoa. No fun at all, sir. No fun. All right. Rest. All right. So I'm gonna go first. Yeah, yeah. You, you. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's do some teeing. I'm gonna move it up three, and we're gonna okay. get a white and a green. All right. White and a green. Ready? Uh, and, and just so everyone knows, um, and I'm gonna butcher the names of these teas. Oh god. Well, not all of them. Uh, yellow tea. Yellow tea. White tea. Got it. Green tea. Got it. Black tea. Okay. Oolong tea. Got it. All right. Uh, Steve Games, I will need help with this because I made sure to watch Ruel uh, because I think Ru- Ruel is a great uh, rules explanation. Um, but uh, Pewer, Pewer, it's P U apostrophe E R. Uh, is it so Puer? Anyone... Puer? Puer. I think that's what Ruel said. Puer. Uh, <laughs> but we wanted to make sure that we said the right thing. Um, and for most of them, we will be calling them. Thank you, Bitney, for that. Puer or fermented tea is great. So the art asset says fermented. And so that's why I could never remember what, what did, the. Did, uh, did Bitney say is. something? Uh, Bitney said poor, but it was really smushed together. I'm not hearing Bitney. Great. Chat, did you get Bitney? I already got my green tea. Uh, didn't hear her either. Uh-oh. Why is Bitney being a jerk? I don't know. P- so... Bitney, but, it, but they heard the bit noise. That's weird. But did you all hear the bit noise? I guess is probably the, is a good question. I, I heard all of it. I know. So, so Bitney could be just slacking. Yeah, the bit noise was there. Okay, so it's definitely a Bitney thing, not my. Yeah, so Bitney, All right. I'll I'll deal with you tomorrow. Just so I'm making sure, the extra T tokens that we grab don't do it. Have to be unique, but do they have to be unique from the ones we just took? I guess it. No, I guess that's a no. Because if you do six, then you exactly. can technically... Okay. Exactly. Um, all right. So we have four movement and or T. Okay. Uh, and I, I... Hate, I hate your choices there. I'll take another white. Hey, Sass Queen. 
Sasqueen, hello. He for two and two for T, me for you and you for me. Oh, that was that was, oh. that was grace. Well, that was delightful. Welcome, Sas. Good to oh, see Sass. you. Hope you are doing well. Uh, <sighs> what do I want to take? Yeah, see, here's where, here's where we go, where we're going to get all... all I think I'm going up. to take a, bl a blue tea. And then I think I might move some tea. Actually, yeah, I've also considered moving to. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take I'm going to take a blue and a muir, and then I'm going to move the blue and the muir. That's what I did. OK, I'm going to call it fermented just so we're all it's an old song from a musical. Uh, I've heard the song. I don't know what the musical musical is, uh, but hello. Good to see you, Seth. Um, all right. So th what happens now is we went to this location, so we flip it. And we move it to this side. So we're making the rondelle on the other side now. We are. Uh, I'm going to hit shuffle three times. Or okay. hit dice roll three times. Just One, to get it a two. good... All right. I did mine three times. Ooh, okay. Wow, right. we. So I get first pick. You do have first, first pick. I am first player. Uh, and I will... I can frame that. There we go. That works, I think. All right. So our uh, just so we are clear on a couple of these things. So these uh, oxidation or fermentation ones uh, mm -hmm. that are on the board at spot two and five, they change T tokens into the other T tokens shown, uh, and move the uh, and move new to new T tokens up a space. Correct. Okay. I think it's to prevent them from getting stuck when they change. Sure. Um, that is a great option. Uh, I am going to play a... Oh, I'm going to play this five. Okay. On this four. On this four, okay. You're going to grab that Earl White. I am. So my uh, my character, uh, my my person uh, again, Colonel Sanders um, uh, esque, uh, gives me one point for every uh, white T at the end of the game. Perfect. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and because I placed that there, because it has the white T symbol, uh, I get an immediate action of being able to a white T in that area. Up. Perfect. That's good. Uh, now, in the future, any white tea that goes through there automatically gets to move up uh, one, uh, one area. One spot. So it's a nice little machine for uh, pumping white tea through. Um, so yeah. All right, yeah, go ahead. I like it. Um, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put... I'm going to go here. And I believe when I go there, though, that I am able to actually take... The top three, is that correct? Or am I thinking of, uh, nope, yeah, top three. To, top three, and you uh, Choose pick one. one, and then you uh, put them back in any order in which you would like. Okay, which do we like here? I'm going We've on got mute because a uh, my one? wife came home and my dog is going to go crazy. Okay, green one and a blue one, and then a set collection. So I think I'm going to take, I think I like the... Uh, you know, like the uh, blue one. So I'm going to place it right here. Then I'm going to place these back in this order right here. Back on. Wait, I wanted to reverse that. Reverse it. There we go. Perfect. So that goes there. And because it has the blue T on there, it moves along the path up there. Colonel Sanders and Lucky the Leprechaun? Possibly. Possibly, Spracknell. Also, how are you doing, Spracknell? Take care of, uh, take care of Slivers for us. Yeah, take care of our friend Slivers. Uh, again, tooth pain is no fun. It is not. All right, Richmond. All right. Tis your turn. It is my turn. Oh, also, I guess we probably should let everybody know how many boats we are playing. Uh, we have decided we're playing four boats. So once the fourth contract has been 
has been completed, we will go finish that round out, and then we will go to final scoring to see how we did. So, and there are many, there are a couple of different ways that you can play um, uh, in kind of the advanced version. Uh, each of our characters um, have a, a unique player power, uh, but we decided to play on the uh, standard version. Uh, but we will go with uh, four uh, boats, just as kind of a medium range. Um, so, oh, that's awesome. Steve says, uh, love it, Spracknell. Uh, it's actually dads on both sides, mom and us. Other four. That's very Oh, cool. that's fun. Um, they sh- I think they're still on here somewhere. Set them somewhere. I'm not going to look for them too much. I don't know where they are, but they're on here somewhere. But that's that's awesome. I didn't know that. I like that. Uh, what a cool um, little uh, cool little factoid. I am going to. So this is interesting. So I think the one I want. Is. Oh, I think I want to get a boat. You're going to get a boat. I think I want to get a ship, or at least go for a ship, maybe. Okay, let's see it. I don't know. But I can't go in that sixth spot where you were. Uh, so that doesn't really... I can't go through those. I don't know that I have anything that I want to, like, swap. All, although... And don't forget, you can always go get tea. And get tea. Um... Actually, let me. I don't like any of this. Um, the decisions are already hard. I know. It's 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 the struggle is real, folks. Um, you got it, Richmond. It's not a bad idea. Um, I think I'm just. I think I'm just gonna spend a three. Okay. Take oh, this guy. straight to the set collection. Yeah, I'm gonna put it down here. Seems like a good spot for it. Yeah. All right. We'll I am going to go ahead and actually, I am going to go for a ship. Yeah. I'm gonna go three, four on that ship. And so I have to do I have to do three on that one. I can't just do like five, six, correct? Uh I believe you can go over it with that as well. I believe it is either longer or higher number. Okay. Having a five six sequence just places a four five sequence. Yes. Uh okay. You should go take a nap, Tanya. Tanya? Go take a nap. Hey, it's so late where you are. Why are it you? Is- or or really early, depending on how long you've been up, Tanya. But I feel like That's it's. True. I, f- <laughs> I feel like you need to go take a nap, Tanya. Also, thank you so much for the resub. We really appreciate it. We do really appreciate that. Um... <laughs> Steve Games goes, oh, not at all, Spracknell. We call him Colonel Sandwich, too. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, I am going to. I will. Ooh, I'm going to go for the Dabo. Bye, Tanya. I think point wise is about the same as yours. Yeah. And it can take anything, really. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go. Yeah, that's gone. Three. Three. Yep. Yeah. Your turn. Uh, I'm going to go to two. Uh oh. Well, I liked how we grabbed it for you. Yeah, I was I was actually surprised that that worked. Yeah, that worked out well. Um. Okay. I think then I will. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, first player marker. Yeah. From you. Thank you. What are you going to do, sir? I am going 
to. I think I'm gonna. I think it's uh. I am still just in shock that Dan and Connie's dads are Colonel Sanders in a leprechaun. I heard sure. like Bitney said that. I definitely, I definitely heard that. I definitely heard that. Also, that's very, <laughs> I that's enjoyable slippers. <laughs> uh, just checking on one thing before I take a before I take my action. That is one magically uh, deliciously finger licking good family. I don't know. If it goes into the oxidation or fermentation space, is that a required move or is that an option? I believe it's an option. Okay. I believe it is an option, but I think I'm just going to get a T. It does say change, so it might be required. We will wait for uh we will wait for our friends from Steve Games to let us know. Um I think my I think my choice is still the same. Yes. <laughs> However, Spracknell and I did just go back it together. Con nice. Uh, awesome. Spracknell. We will say we will say fermentation. So, uh, on a fermentation card, if it uh, a T lands in a zone with fermentation card, uh, is that an automatic exchange or is that an option? Yes, it's I would an imagine optional that's an option. Exchange. Always okay. trigger. Yes. Always trigger. So okay. Good to know. That's a, a gamble. Okay. Awesome. All right. Awesome slivers. I uh like the little the little things you get with this game are very cool. Like the little tins and such. For the tea, they come in like little tea tins. It's I, adorable. I mean, again, I'll uh drop the Kickstarter in chat. Yes, if anybody wants to go check um, it out. Um but you can also, as part of the Kickstarter, kick up I think of the original chai. Yes. Uh, which has uh, gorgeous components. Uh, every card always activates, if possible, including the ones that flip. Uh, so if you're first player, you might want a different harvest to trigger your opponent's cards. Oh, ooh, well, that is, things just got you know, mean. I tell you what, I hadn't thought about how mean that is, but I, I kind of I like it. Uh, okay, cool. That is something to think about. That is something to think about. Uh, all right, now all right. we have placed all of our dice. Oh, you have one die left. I play. still have one dice, sir. Go for it. Um, I think I'm going to grab... I think, I think I'll make it easy on myself. I'm just going to put this here, and I think I'm going to get me another blue tea. Sure. All righty. That is the end of our placement phase, and now we'll go mm -hmm. through the little... Upkeep we got to do real quick, which is first things first, we need to go through and see who won the harbor. So I believe you won a ship and I won a ship, so we'll go yes. ahead and set those aside. Perfect. Um, now, in the uh, standard game, uh, there are three individual spaces for um, your ships. I believe in the uh, advanced game there are three separate harbors harbor spaces and you do need to like spit an action uh to move items from side to side so um it becomes more uh important where you place uh your ships when you put them in your harbor okay so then we get new ships out and then we need to resolve over here which is the production board Oh, so TJ, I will get if TJ, by the way, if you reserve this last space, uh, yes, I do get the you do three. get like the top of your cards, you reserve one and choose the top deck in any order. Um, if a merchant reserves a fourth ship card, one is immediately discarded. Um, yes, um, yeah. honestly, oh man. I kind of like, kind of like the rainbow instead of the endeavor. So I think we'll take the rainbow instead of the endeavor, and then we're gonna put, yep, we're gonna put the endeavor under this one. There we go under the beaver. <laughs> Alrighty, 
that's where we're going to place that. So we'll go ahead and now we also have up here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull back all the other dice that we haven't resolved here. Have resolved. So now we've got our production up here. So I will get five movements of T and Richmond will get three movements of T along the board, on our boards. So on mine, I will go one, two, three, and this will be four. And then because it's got the milk oolong, it will go up an extra bonus. And then I will move it up, move this up. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yep. And that'll be five. All right, I will uh, move one. I'll get a free movement here for uh, my market card. Uh, so I'm still on one, uh, and then I will go two, uh, three. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Grab those dice back. And the last thing that will need to happen will be we need to replenish the production, or not the production, but the uh, market. Refill for the next year. So right. discard the card at the lowest value and then slide everything over from, so this one will go away and everything slides down and gets all the way to the cheaper spots. And then all of these come out. Sure, I'm not sure why Tabletopia does that. Oh. Also, hello, Mark from Tabletop, if you're watching. Yes, hello. Why does it do that? <laughs> Why do you do that? All right. So that is the end of the first round. So we will go back over here, and I will choose what T I want to get out of that and how many movements we want to take. I can move one, two, or three spots along that board. And I think I would like anything anything fun to trigger off yours? No. So I think we'll just go ahead and move two. And we're gonna grab this one. So we will get a purple and a yellow T. So then this moves over here, flips, and goes to the lowest spot. Is it purple and, and yellow? Purple and a yellow tea. Or the fermented tea and the yellow or the tea. Fermented tea. All right. Let us two roll movements. our dice. And then, yes, yeah, two movements. So I'm going to go ahead and move, move the white tea up. And I'm going to move this tea here. And because it has crossed this final threshold, it is loaded onto the rainbow, which is waiting in the harbor. And then once Richmond has completed his movement, we will roll our dice and we will get going on the next round. I have completed my movements. Uh, I hit mute. Uh, we were in the middle of uh, cleaning out our uh, coffee maker. So mm. it was going to be ASMR that no one wanted. Um, <laughs> I have rolled I, my dice. I have also rolled my dice. That's a lot of fives. It is a lot of fives. Um... All right, so I get to go first. So what do I want to do? What do we have out there? I think you're going to... Hmm... I think I might burn. Nah, I don't think that, I think it's too soon to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and go five. Oh, I took all the dice. Ooh. I'm gonna use one of my fives, and I'm going to grab this fuck or uh, cargo, which will grab this T and this T, and we'll fill it right on up. 
your turn. Interesting. All right. Um, interesting move by the TJ. Oh, thank you. I don't know if it was a good move, but it was a move. It was a move. Uh, again, checking one rule just sure. to make I'm sure I'm not doing a thing I shouldn't do. Also, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I was gonna say, look how to... look how pretty the game is. Uh, the game's gorgeous, by the way. Um, it just it's just got that nice, cool like relaxing feel to it the art just seems homey i can't yeah, wait I, like it. I can't i can't wait for the little the little t bits i feel like those would be just so physically nice to move well, around we were saying, um what was it i was watching ruel's uh out of this uh in preparation and he was saying that the people who or the the tins that come with it are made by the same people that make the Starbucks, uh, make tins for Starbucks. Oh, okay. So I'm like, you're getting like, I mean, it depends on your feelings of Starbucks, but uh, you are getting like a quality, uh, again. Yeah, quality like, the, like the like Tivana tins. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Very cool indeed. All right. Oh, man. What do I want to do now? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go three, four. I'm going to go there. Grab that one. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Actually, I don't want to do three, four. I want to do two, four, five. When you say that the tins are actually from Starbucks, from the Starbucks factory for their Christmas tea tin line. Interesting. Uh, my when we visited my parents, uh, my mom, I think every coffee mug that she had in the house, except for one that I saw, uh, are the like Starbucks like city collection or state. Oh collection yeah, yeah, yeah. Of coffee mugs. Um, I tell you what I'm gonna do, TJ. Tell me, I, pay me a, I, I, a word picture. I, t I tell you what I'm going to do. Are yeah. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I am going to take uh, this little green guy. Okay. And I'm going to turn this five into a six. Oh, my goodness. And then I'm going to take this six. Okay. But mm. Draw all three of those. I like it. Draw, oh, interesting. Oh wow! Interesting. interesting. Um, I'm gonna take this one. Okay. The scented tea. Okay. Uh, it's gonna go over here. That's a good spot for it. It is a good spot for it. I feel pretty good about it. I like uh, it. Um, I guess I'll put this back here, and then I'll put this back here. Um. Okay. My turn then. Let's see here. Not sure how I feel about that, honestly. So I think I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to. Spend... Oh, I don't want to really spend it, but I will. Actually, I'll do this. One there. And I'm going to take a white tea. Okay, your turn. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm going to take this two. Okay. Yeah. And go here. Okay. I'm going to take this. Grab the oxidation. I'm going to take the oxidation. And uh, put it here. Or it's the fermentation. Yes, that was fermentation. Uh, so these are going to turn into blue guys. Okay. And they're going to move right here. Wow, that's a lot of blue tea. There's a lot of blue tea. 
There is a lot of blue tea. Let's see here. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go three, three. There. Lauren, go sleep. have a good night. Yes, Lauren, get some sleep. Have have a restful sleep. I have a thing for being here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. I have, I have dice left, TJ. Say that again. I have dice left where I can do it. You thing. do. You can do a thing. I believe in you. But not, but not enough to beat me. What are you going to do, Richmond? Um, TJ, that's a great question. I'm going to, um, I am going to, I think I have to do this because I need the movements. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. then I think the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab... I'm going to use this. I'm just going to put it here. I'm going to grab a yellow tea. Right there. Oh, I do have a yellow tea on my board. It's hard to see in some of the spots. Uh, oh, yeah, because yours is uh, yours has like a little yellow tint to it. It does have a yellow tint. Uh, I, TJ, yes. am going... I could take first player marker. You could. I'm going to go right here. Oh, going set collection. Was that is that your second one? It is my second one. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, for sure. I like it. All right, that's it. We're out of dice. We are out of dice. So um, let's resolve the market or the the harbor first. So we'll go ahead and pull those guys on back and pull the cutty start. Cuddy Sark in to Cuddy port. Sark. Cuddy Sark, also a ship that's in um uh Nemo's War? Nemo's War. Yes, it is. We probably sunk it a lot. Uh probably. Or it killed us. One or the other. One or the other. Alright. So now we go through and we uh resolve production. I get sure. five movements and you get three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll uh, zoom down so you can do your movements. Uh, great. I will go one, two, three. And off it sails? Off it sails. True, and it's the only existing tea clipper in a museum just outside of London in Greenwich. Oh. Steep Games, can you just be here all the time and just give us... Do you know things? Do you know things about other uh, other board games that you can give us fun facts about? I mean, uh, I, I'm okay, I'm okay with Steep being here and just giving us tea facts over and over. Oh, again. that's true. That's true. Like uh, I, I love tea, tea, so on stream. Um, when I uh, I was post COVID shot number two and I was having cold chills. You did. I thought, you know what? I need sleepy time tea, and uh, you did. It, it didn't you. work. I was still freezing. Still freezing. All right, so I have five movements, so I'm going to do one and put it on the ship. And we're going to go two, Not three, submersed in other things. Four. We wish we were. Uh, it's okay. It is all <laughs> right. And Just then I'm going to move, I'm gonna move this up one here. So, yeah, I, I have fulfilled a ship as well. All right, I'm still going ahead. It's fine. The rainbow. Oh, I'm not. You have the crates. The rainbow has Crates. been fulfilled. Are you ahead of me? What's happening? I'm not. It's fine. Oh, just okay. Leave it alone. I forgot your oh. crates. I had, just I leave me alone. Set, <laughs> I was doing set collections against your crates. I have a, I have weird, a weird variety, variety of, of odd. Yeah. <laughs> Can't remember where you left your keys. Yeah. I, uh, I lost my wallet the other day, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm still not convinced that that was not the dog carrying it off. So. Possibility. Leota, Leota, uh, the, the like to shop on Amazon. All right, so I'll replace these here. 
like so. And then this, does it go down by discarding the card of the lowest value die to the bottom of the deck? So we'll get rid of this. So these, these will go to the bottom of the deck if we need them. But Tabletopia is kind of annoying when you do it that way, so. Here we go. Pull them down. Awesome. Interesting, uh, interesting things we've got going on now. Yeah, we got a lot of interesting things happening. And I'm still first player? I am indeed. So. You are still first player. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these dice. Oh, uh, now you need to do the thing first. Oh, well, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I don't know if that really affects anything anyway. So, ooh, one yellow or blue. What do you have down here? It's fine. You, you, you do you. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Yellow and I'm gonna go to yellow and purple, what gives us five movement. All right. We get five movement out of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move one, two. Three. Aubrey, four, hello. Five. Uh my newest contender for favorite two player game. Love it. Uh is this Tyler? I feel like it's usually Tyler on uh Could be Tyler. Oh, uh, it's an it's another two person uh uh -huh. two person group who you may not may and or may not know who it could be. Yeah, uh, that's uh running chat. That's us. What you get at Moobot. Thank you for saying this and letting me know. I did not get Bitney that time. Bit Bitney, like, just stopped talking. I never got Bitney in the first place. Bitney, Bitney stopped talking and said, thank you for saying this and letting me know. What you get at Moobot. Thank you for saying this and letting me no, know. No, Bitney didn't go off. Bit I got Bitney to letting me know. Yeah, it, get, it got to... Bitney is having some troubles. Bitney's, Bitney's having some issues. Um, we need to we need to go down to the server room and reboot Bitney. We do. Jig, we need to jiggle some wires, I believe. Uh, Bitney is a bit of a mess. Yeah, Bitney, Bitney, Bitney is having a Monday on Tuesday. Bitney's so. a hot mess today. Uh, all right, now to get back. To what so yeah, five movement. Five movement. And I have taken all mine already. All right. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna go one. Okay. This automatically moves up for two, and I flip this. Yes. Three. Four. Five. Okay. I believe is what I want to do. All righty. Looks good. Mm. There Alrighty. are things to manage that I'm not prepared to manage. There are a lot of things I'm to manage. I'm being honest. All right, so I'm first player. So first player. Oh, I need to uh, roll my dice. Yes, please do. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the four spot here. I'm going to take the Pu'er brick. And I'm gonna put it right here, which immediately pushes these two up and flips over. Yeah. I'm gonna take a chance in a high take school Take a chance? Oh my goodness. Uh, is that what the song was, how it went? I don't, I don't, I don't remember, honestly. Where? Oh, you got a sweet tea and another blooming tea. Are you, are you just going to go all in on the bloomings? I mean, a lot of points. It is a lot of points. At that point, it's six points. It is six points. Uh, oh, I do like sweet tea. I mean, sweet tea is delicious. I mean, at this point, I'm just like picking teas that sound good to me. You know what? 
Let's see what happens here. Oh. We're Tucha. Okay. Don't do this. I have a theory. You have a theory. Okay. I have a theory. Um, so because I did that, mm -hmm. I do this. This turns into this and moves up here. Okay. All right. That was a thing. Okay. That was a thing that I did. I mean, it seemed like a lot of movement for one turn. I feel I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, that. I mean, a lot of things happened. I just... Oh, also, I, I need to do this. Move these up slightly. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go now. And mm -hmm. I'm just going to put one of my twos right here. I'm going to take this guy. It was a lot, lot less hassle than what you did to get the mm -hmm. same card, which will push that up and that up. Oh. Sorry, I would like to go here. Put it like that, yep, okay. sure. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to discard. Uh, okay. You're gonna discard, what? Oh, oh, to move, to change the values, got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I am going to change this to a four. Okay. Go here. Oh, interesting. Here. Or five, huh? Uh huh. Give me says no, not a big deal, but the little go to the most clockwise location on the opposite. So to top left to bottom oh, okay. right. So this one goes, oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yes. Thank you, Steeped. Cool. That, that, was, that uh, would also that would also make sense in game flow. Correct. Uh, okay, I can't rotate forty-five. So it's like, no, it don't. Just leave it be. We'll figure. We, we'll fix it. In, we'll fix it in post. Would that we will not do? <laughs> that we will not do. There is no post. There's no post. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh man, I could rain on your parade a little bit. He could. And just take that away from you, which seems mean. Seems mean. Man. Play your, play, play your game, man. Play your game. I know. I think, I think it is. Well, I'm sorry. That's not a uh, consecutive. <laughs> oh, that is not the right. There we go. There we go. Uh, Kavre finished. It takes two. Where are we in the story Ooh. right now? Uh, so if you're not following, uh, if you're new here, by the way, we play uh, plays Wednesday night. Uh, we are playing It Takes Two, which is a wonderful co-op game uh, about parents who are terrible at being parents. Um, and <sighs> we just finished got done with moon baboon no we're way past moon baboon yeah because we did the whole uh the, oh we're at the candy factory no we beat the candy factory we're at the uh we're at like the town um we're we just finished like the get bigger get smaller yes thing um yeah, no. we finished the castle, we finished the underwater, or we finished... Oh, we're still kind of in that, like, snowy area with the... Yeah. Uh, we finished the first main part of the snowy area with the mag. And so... We're, we're, on, so we're, on, we're, on, we're on our way to get our second piece of the letter. Ooh, yes, we are on second way to get second piece of the letter. It's your turn, sir. It is my turn. I'm going to discard this guy okay. as well. Uh, and Just I'm going to change this one to a six. Uh-huh. And go four, five, six. All right, perfect. So then I have to move this somewhere. What do I move it to then? Yes, we were underwater in Snowy Town at the uh, at the candy factory. Did you enjoy the experience uh, of what's left? 
Yes. Um, because we That's are thoroughly enjoying it. Um, but I assume you all would enjoy it if you finished it to the end. All right. So I'm going to go and do a five and a five. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Uh, I'll do one and a one. And I think I'm going to also go ahead and grab this. Place it down here. Is it right here? Yeah. Right there. Okay. I'm going to go here. Ooh, refreshing. Uh huh. Okay. And that is the end of that. That's the end of that. That is the end of that. So now, now, now the. Uh, Definitely been the, a fun game. Would recommend to anyone looking for a co op game. Yeah, it's. It's been great. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's a, it's a two player week here. Um, it's always it's almost always a two player week, but almost always. Um, we have been really enjoying it. Takes to a lot of different game mechanisms in one game, and every time you go to a different zone, it's always something different, and it's refreshing. Like it always, you don't get tired of it because there's always something new around the corner. Yes, it is refreshing, like a nice cup of tea. Ooh. All right. Uh, let's do the thing. So first, we resolve the ships. Yep. So take your ships. Ship. Coming down here. Perfect. And we are playing to four ships. Four ships, indeed. How many ships did you send off? One. Uh, one. And you also okay. sent off one. Uh, yep. Just keeping track of ships. And mm -hmm. then I have five production, and you have sure. one production. Correct. I have three production. Three. Sorry. Sorry, I saw your ones. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, all right. Well, then I will go one. That automatically moves over because it can get into the ship, correct? Yep. And now I, I have two more. Two, two, three, four. All right. This is a fun game. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is this is this is great. I'm enjoying it because there's a lot. I am a sucker for engine building. Um and so there's a lot to think about in this game, and I am thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, all right, so such a tease. Such a tease. And hey, Cabaret, I hope you're having warm weather in Edmonton. Enjoy the hockey playoffs if you follow. So this moves up to here. Oh, uh, you, that one goes there. Yep. Yep. All right. Mm. And then Ooh. new boats. New Correct. boats. Let's see here. What? Do we do? All right, so now I have to move the person again. Correct. So one, two, or three. Let's see here. What will not help you at all? Doesn't matter. To be honest, I don't have anything that I can really move. Um, yeah. I think it is going to be I move to here, to the black and green tees. I'm gonna flip that over here, and now I'm gonna make it play. So a black and a green. So the green immediately moves up because that's there. And then we are, uh, we get to draw, we, we get five movement points. Five movements, or, or you can, yeah, or more T's. So one yep, automatically goes up, gets turned into a blue. To there. As far as the weather, you've been moving on Thursday, so the fact that it is snowing makes me a bit upset. Yes, that is never fun moving in the snow. Mm -mm. Then I'm going to do two movement, and then we're going to go two, and then I think three and two. Four. Three. Four. It's under here. Or sorry, three. Okay, Pull block. All right. 
And I've done I mine, have... and this ship sails off. I have two more to go. T off your ship you sailed in. Yeah, I hope the move goes well there. Four. All right. Five goes to there, and this lands in this area. There. Yep. All righty. I am first. All right, let's roll our dice. Yes, sir. Oop. Dice right. are rolled. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I talk about it all the time, but when I moved uh, up here, uh, I'd say a I'd say a good chunk of my collection is in TJ's basement. It is indeed. At this point, um, going here, and let's let's pull these three. Uh, which one do I want now? I think I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take the matcha cheese out on the bottom. First flush above it. So look at the matcha cheese. The right. Actually, I think I'm going to put them right here. Which will immediately push the white up. Your turn, Richmond. Uh, so it is. So it is. They're also one of the easiest things to quickly unpack. Yeah. Uh, yes, because you obviously know where they're going. Yes. And they're easy to like scoop up and do. Oh. I made the mistake of when we moved. Essentially, I had to move the board games stuff myself. Um, our old house is only like two miles away from where I live now. So I just drove back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, bringing the board games in the back of my car. Because we were pressed for time. Interesting. Four, four, four. Yeah, another green on the bottom, TJ. It bump, it now bump up to. Yeah, I sure would. Because you've got one on the side here and one at the bottom. Yep. Cool. Oof. Good. That is what we call the green tea accelerator. <laughs> is it now? Yeah, I, it's in the rule book. Uh, I, I checked with Steep. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> Checks out. Yeah. Uh <laughs> I know comrade. The combos are so good. It's I'm gonna go I'm gonna go boom. The boom. green tea accelerator. <laughs> uh, uh yeah, it's in the rule book. I don't and I'm just I'm just reading the rule book. That's all I'm doing, it guys. Is, it is in the rule book. That's not an awful idea. What are we thinking? The green tea accelerator sounds like a bad Seth Rogen and James Franco movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that also checks out too. Not a terrible idea. Richmond's mumbling to himself. Opens up InDesign and changes the draft. All right, I'm going to move this to here. Oh, okay. And then Which... ferment everything the opposite way? Yeah, so I'll just take one. Oh, mm -hmm. crap. Did it go in there? I, I, yeah, I got it. It's the first one oh. out. Although, no, okay, we're good. Uh, So it's really just this. Yes. And then that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Okay. 
Like it? Yeah, I kind of like that move. It's oh god. Yeah. Why do we play games that I like? Have to I need to I need own to now. Yeah, have in my collection for sure. Like, because we play these games, like, oh, I think I'll like them, and then we get halfway through because I'm like, yeah. I need to, I need to have this right. Now. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm gonna spend it. this one here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn this into a four. You're gonna get bumped. Yeah. You know what? That's not a thing I had planned on happening. Um, <laughs> if I'm if, if I'm being for realsy, for realsies. Um, yeah. Okay. Here's a here's a fun thing we're gonna do. You ready? Yeah. Gonna do it again. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Yeah, we're good. I like it. Um, yeah. So the, I mean, the tough part is with the per, like on my, but um, that purple spot and the black and blue have like that extra space to go through. Yeah. Um. So I'm actually gonna do a little swappy do. A, a swappy do. He's I'm gonna swap that with that, which will just move this up to here. Hey, hey, TJ. Yo. You can't do the pair here. You have to do a uh, ascending. Oh. Um, oh, hang on. I just used the wrong die there. Okay. There you go. Oh. Tis, tis an ascending. I probably just grabbed the wrong one. Um, sure. What? Oh, I am so losing this game by so many points. The Puer card might um, flip over. Can't remember. The Puer card. Uh, Puer does not flip over. At no. least not on this one. The Puer Tucha. Uh, Tuacha? Tuacha? Does not flip over according to the thing. The thing. And by the thing, I mean the icons. Like, but it's also your game, so <laughs> <laughs> so you know you you tell us. I'll do it. I'll do whatever you say. But... All right, um, Richmond, you've got you've got carte blanche now. You can do whatever you want. I do. I can, I literally can do whatever I want. The world is your oyster, and there's so many room for activities. It, it is my oyster. So the problem is, I really haven't set myself up for any of the ship that are available. Right. So do I try and claim this and give myself some options and hope that something I like shows up? Right, yeah. I, I like that, how there's, you know, you draw the three and you have that top deck chance. I think, I, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I think okay, fine. First player gets minus three victory points for kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will not be taking the first. Can uh, I go to the first player marker to throw the first player marker at Richmond? All right. Uh, I'm going to discard this this guy mm -hmm. uh, as black tea. All right, do a four. Can we just say it's a four? Oh yeah, that's right. Before they get over. Yeah, it's not uh, like I can I'll do anything that. to stop it. It's true. And now uh, you have a five. I I do have a five. Um, so there are options that I have. Um, I'll talk about briefly. Okay. I can either go to the first player space, which yes. I don't want to lose three points for kicks. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I could flip over this guy. And Ooh, then yeah. that would give me uh, an extra movement, uh, which would be nice for the scented tea. Uh, or I could go for the set collection. Uh, which would give me six victory points. Yeah. Because there's a lot of black tea happening, and I don't... Yeah, I don't... And I'm really going for. Yeah. You have, you have said a lot of things you could do. What is the thing you're going to do? 
You could flip the table also, Sliver. Wait, no, this is uh, Tabletopia, not Tabletop Simulator. It would be really helpful if I could move this blue one backwards, back into this purple <laughs> space. Uh, and then it would turn it into a purple. purple. Move it up. Move it up, yeah. That's not how T works. As you know, it's T's can only go works. forward, never backwards. That's true. That's why it's a. That's why it's the green T accelerator, not the decelerator. <laughs> exactly, or the reversal. Um, Flip the table. His computer is on. Durr. Oh yeah, that. Why do we play games that I don't want to play? I don't know. Um. All right. Decision. I'm making a decision. Do I'm it. Making a decision. Believe in you. Um, oh, that's not a terrible decision. Make a decision, oh Richmond. Okay, sorry. I'm making a decision. Uh, I am going to go this. Got it. All right. Set collection. God, that hurt me so bad because it did. I wanted there to was do, like I 900 wanted, things you wanted to do. You can only do I wanted one. To do a thing, but I could. I can do. It. I can do it next round. All right. So, grab your boats. Oh, I get to choose from three. I had to wait because if. If purple is involved in one of these ships. None of them have. Worth, it's only worth two points. Ugh. The Faerun. What's that? Ugh. I regret. I love the it's names real, of these boats. It's a real chance I had to take. And I didn't like it. Well, poop. Well, poopy. I also love how that you can choose how long your game is going to go, which is neat. Yeah. You know what? Go, going for the rate. Ah. Interesting. Yeah. Let's okay. You're going to just try and shove out some tea? Yeah. I, again, uh, okay. I really need... I really need... Um... All right. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So I have five production and you have three. Uh-huh. So go ahead and do that. Two. Three. Two. Oh, I guess this has to go, right? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so... I put the I put the wrong two. thing in the wrong bag. Again. Should I take all nineteen? Oh there you go. Found it. Found it? Yeah. yeah. I'm the I'm the king of like throwing the wrong thing. Oh, just in the wrong yeah, in the wrong place, yeah. Alright. So then the only thing left to do is get rid of this guy. Mm -hmm. And everything moves down. So, there, there, and, okay. Huh. All right. Huh. And a new boat. Interesting. Get everything back. Stupid boats. Stupid boats. <laughs> God, there's a lot of black tea to be dispersed. Yep. All righty. So... Now, once again, I have to move the thing. You do have to. Uh, you have to move the assistant. I do. What they have a name. Their name is the assistant. The assistant. Let's see here. We're gonna go with. I don't like the options. We go to here. Gives you one movement. And a white, or a yellow, and a uh, blue tea. It's fine. Tea up. All righty. I get one movement? Yes. One movement, sir. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or a T. Or a T. Yes. Or a T. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Nope. Don't like that. Oh, All right. A of, it's a lot of ones. That is a lot of ones, buddy. All right. Uh, you're up. Your decision. All righty. So the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna go to the one spot. Mm -hmm. I take this. And get rid of the cur the. Wait, actually, I'll just stick it here. Perfect. The sweet tea. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, I'm going to take this die. Okay. Move this. Take this one. Move it here. Push those two on. Correct. Wait, do I only get to move one or do I get to move both? It moves them both. Yeah. Are we sure? Yeah. Any it 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 can't have tea there. But aren't there some that have the two symbol on them? Like two of the same? But then I think they flip over. Oh, those do flip over. Yep, sorry. Uh, move up T tokens of that color up two spaces and flip the color. Okay, yep. Yep, we're good. Got it, got it, got it, got it. That's That would be the, per, that would be the uh, uh, poor... Um, yes. Oh, sorry, Pu'er Accelerator. The Pu'er which, Accelerator, yes. Which we don't have access to. We don't have the technology. We don't have the, we don't have the technology for the Pu'er Accelerator. We really don't. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place the... Oof, that is not what you want to see. I'm going to actually use one of my, my blue tees to turn this into a three. And place it right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it the um, two symbols means it bumps up two spaces yes. thank you Steve yes uh, I am going to Interesting. Interesting there. I believe. Go ahead and I will one up you. Down and put the fives up there. There we go. What shall you do, sir? You know, that's a great question, TJ. Uh, I'm glad you asked. Um, I am going to think for a very, very long time. Um, all right, I am going to take my five okay go, go here and i'm gonna put in one of these slots okay uh which will move my green t up one that gets flipped over that does get flipped over yep all righty so Okay, so I'm going to use my one. I'm going to go here. 
and I'm going to get a green T, which will move from here to here to here. Down the green T accelerator pipeline. Sure. Uh, I'm going to go here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Crap. That's the same thing. Uh, interesting. Wow. Oh, it's white. It's white and yellow, white and yellow, white and yellow. Then more blooming teas. The blooming teas just make me want to have tea now. They're so pretty and they look delicious. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely going to have to probably back this. Like, there's no. <laughs> this yeah. is just, just so nice. I really like it. Uh, I like it a lot. I really like it. Um, I was really hoping to end this turn or in this game this turn. Um, because yeah. I need Which, what, what two are you taking? more to go in. <laughs> what do you? You still have to take a card. Take this one. No, that's not even one you can take. Go. Oh, oh, sorry. I meant this one. <laughs> and then I'll just put these back. It's not even one you can take, man. We do try a blooming tea if you haven't. Flowers wrapped around typically green. Yes. I used to have um, a bunch of blooming teas. They're absolutely beautiful. And it's an, it's just a cool experience to do. Um, Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and do a little... Uh, I'm gonna do a little swappy do here. A little swappy do. I'm gonna move this guy to here and this guy to here, which will then push this through the the black T accelerator to there. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will add my one. Mm -hmm. So I'll get five action or five movements, sure. and you'll get three. Yeah, I'm we not won't move. Them. Yeah, we're not gonna flip them. Um, I want to play this with actual dice and the dice trays. Um, all right. Yes, that would also be amazing. So I no one has boats. Boy. No one has boats. So we'll do no, our just movement. movements. Go one, and this ships off. Three, four, five. Two. This one. Cool, 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 cool. All righty. I've done my three. I've done my five. Which felt unsatisfying because I <laughs> thought I was going to be able to end it this turn. Yeah, you couldn't though. Not the game's fault, but just more so of my like, oh, I thought I had it. I'm going to I'm actually going to fix this real quick. Make it What are we fixing? I I just fixed the one that was off because of Tantopia. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was the the one that was no longer. Love you, Mar Love you Mark. No, no, it's just it's just the way it goes. Like you, it's yeah. easier to rotate in that direction than everything else. All right, so this gets discarded. Mm -hmm. This goes to here. This goes to here. Now, if we do send off the final ship, we finish the round. We finish the round. Yes. Great to know. Great to know. All right. Glad that I know these things. Um, All right, so I gotta move the assistant first. Please do. Um, see here. I think the assistant is going to move to here. Actually, it's gonna go here and only give us two. Mm -hmm. So we get a mm -hmm. green and a black. We'll send the green up the green T accelerator. It does. Let's 
takes over here and goes there. Might be a five ship game for both of you. It might be. It, it could be. There's yeah. A, there's a chance. Um. Alrighty. So, and then I have. Oh, how much movement was it? It's two movement. Uh, it was two. So I'm not gonna move, and I'm actually gonna take a purple. And mm, take probably a green. Set it up the accelerator as well. So, All right. <laughs> Shove it up the accelerator. Uh. Rolling time. Hold on. I'm gonna take a white. Okay. Uh, and a. Oh, I'll take another yellow. Okay. Let's just let's just let's just see what happens. Let's just, let's let's roll the dice. Literally. Okay, I rolled them. Uh, Cabre, you're not wrong, and then this is going in like up in my two-player list. Uh, we just played the Rival Networks, which I love the networks. Uh, I love the Rival Networks. Um, so we have just been, I feel like we've been spoiled on a lot of good two-player games here recently. For sure. Uh, oh. hey, T hey, TJ, go ahead. Yeah, got it. Um, you, do, you do you. Will do. You, uh, what are you aiming for there? Green, green. Turn those into that. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's do. Oh god. I'm nervous. Mm. I'm always nervous because I never know. Like I'm just. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. Like there's not enough that you can do right now that's really gonna just make me angry. But there you go. There you go. You good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to take this one and do the, the flippy do's. Okay. All right. So, uh, green will go up one. Okay. Black will go up one. That gets flipped. White will go up one. And then another one. Uh huh. Yellow will go up one. Yep. And get flipped. Uh, I think that's all that happened on that turn. But yep, it that's felt it. like a it felt like a lot. <gasps> yes, I, felt it, I felt productive. I felt productive. Felt productive. You felt like you produced some tea. I did. I I I I accelerated some tea. You did. So then I'm going to go ahead and hmm, I'm going to go ahead and go mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The noise you keep making. Mm -hmm. Sure is. <laughs> All right, I am going to take a die of a value. And I am going to take that die. Okay. And place it here. Okay. Uh, and I will move this up. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this I'm going to do a swap to this one this one which is this here okay. 
Your turn. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to take this guy and go here. Okay. I'm going to take this guy and put it here. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. No. I, cha I change... Change my you mind. Cha you change your mind. I do. Oh gosh, I'm moving my camera, not the die. Okay. Okay. Here. Uh huh. Do a swap. Uh huh. This one. This one. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's up here. Uh huh. I genuinely don't think that you're going to be able to get your all the pieces on the ship that you're going to get. Like that second ship you're buying. I don't think, I feel like you can't make that happen. I don't I could know. Be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm gonna spin this blue. Okay. And I'm gonna turn this into a three. Okay. Making it a three four. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, hold on. Oh. Uh, Uh no, let's make it a five. Let's make it a five instead of a three. I okay. feel like some of the prices right. Uh, uh, yeah. dear, uh, sound effects lady, do I at least have one number right? Oh, you're doing a three, four, five. No, I'm just gonna do a three, four. Oh, three, four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I needed, I needed uh room to move. Got it. Alrighty. So then I'm gonna go here mm -hmm. and do a swap again. I'm gonna move. This to this mm -hmm. moves this here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to spin this black one. Okay. I want to change this to a six. Okay. And then I want to go here. Sure. And no, I'm in deep thought when I have like I'm biting like my finger. And I'm going, oh god, makes it work. Okay. All right. So then this is definitely this is definitely the last round. Yep. So we grab our ships. Oh, I guess I could technically choose one of three ships. Yep. Uh no, nah, I just want this one. That's fine. Yep. righty. So then three moves and five moves. So one, two, three. All right. One, uh, sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot what I was going for there, Steve. That's exactly what I was going to do, and I forgot. Uh, should have changed it. Super aggro and place the five as a four production. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant to do, but I completely forgot. I... It says hydrate. Thank you. Um. Okay. It's a good game, TJ. It's a very yeah. good game. All righty. So let's do points. Yeah, I it's, it's going to be close. 
because you have the high point ships. Yep. And I do not. All right, so T plantation wow. cards. So count your T plantation cards. Uh, okay. Does that include my set collection? Uh, no. Yeah, it's one of the things to do. So you get the the points on the cards, the fulfilled crates, and the blooming tea. Okay. All righty. After okay. that, go to your fulfilled ships. Uh huh. So count those up. Okay. There's a little okay. marker too. A little marker. There's like a little point point calculator thing to it. Oh, I'm I'm using that, yeah, for sure. Yep. And then your merchant side of your cards. So every every uh card that has the one that matches your little dude gets you a point. Oh, for every white one on my merchant card? Let's see here. Uh, the victory point for each tea plantation card and fulfilled or unfulfilled ship that has the same tea type shown as the merchant card. Question marks don't count, correct? Yes. So I got one. And... I think I did that correctly. We got one more. There we go. Wait. Oh wait, hang on. We are blocked. Okay. That, okay, we're good. We're good. You got me. Three points. Oh, three points. That was close. I it mean, it obviously close. came to, it came down to that. It came down to that last ship, and I feel like if you had remembered, if you had remembered to switch to that five. Yep. Uh, it would have. Yeah. Um, yeah, if if you had switched that five, you would have taken the five actions from me, and I only would have filled one. Yep. Instead of two, and you would have filled your second one, or like your Ye fourth one. For sure. Let's uh let's bring it over to the two person. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 